Good morning, everybody. I'm going to show you a new procedure for the portal on how to upload your documents. When you're in your expenditures, you'll have the tab that says Issues still. This is a little bit different view until we get this uploaded on the live on the site. So I'm going to work on some for Woodson County here and show you how this is much easier than the other. So you'll just highlight the entire row. Once you highlight the entire row, you'll have an area that you can drop files in. So I'm going to go look for this document, which I labeled as the record ID 10039. I have it saved here in my computer. There it is there. And there's the document loading. Just put a comment in. You can do whatever you'd like. I usually just put the ID number, or if you want to put out a description of what the invoice is, that's fine as well. Hit save. That document's now saved. You can go on to your next one. I'll just show you a second one. I selected 10054. I can see 10054 is here. I'm going to click here to upload that file. 10054. I'm going to change my comments and save. There's my second document saved. I need to do a third document now for Woodson County. 10094. I can see that 10094 is ready to be uploaded. I go find that invoice. Change my comment. Once it's got the check mark that it's ready to go, I hit save. And that document's now there. Got another one I can go ahead and do here. Show you how much faster this is. 10096. Again, I have that ID there. I'm going to go find my document. I'm going to change my comment ready to be uploaded. I hit save, and there it is. I believe I have one more for Woodson County, and they will be done. 10099, I have that document. That's the one I needed. Change my comment. Got my check mark and save. It's that simple. Got all five of them uploaded very quickly there. It took me just a couple minutes. I hope you find that much easier to do than the other. And we'll have this pushed out and updated on the website, on the web portal here and by the end of the week. If you have any questions or concerns, as always, you can email me, lori.alexander at kansas911.org, or feel free to give me a call. Thanks.